क्लासीफाय अकॉर्डिंग टू फूड टाइप टाइगर काउ वल्चर बैक्टेरिया डियर गोट ह्यूमन फंगस लायन स्पैरो बफेलो फ्रॉग कॉक्रोच टिक कार्निवोर्स टाइगर लायन अर्बिवोर्स काउ डियर गोट बफेलो स्कैवेंजर्स वल्चर डिकम्पोजर्स फंगस बैक्टेरिया ग्रैनिवोर्स स्पैरो इंसेक्टिवोर्स फ्रॉग पैरासाइटिक टिक ओमनिवोर्स ह्यूमन कॉक्रोच मैश द पैर्स पैरासाइटिक प्लांट कस्टूटा इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट ड्रॉसेरा सैप्रोपाइटिक प्लांट मशरूम सिम्बायोटिक प्लांट लिचन आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन योर ओन वर्ड्स वाय डू लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स नीड न्यूट्रिशन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स नीड न्यूट्रिशन ड्यू टू द फॉलोइंग रीजन्स टू सप्लाय द एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डूइंग वर्क ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी टू रिप्लेस द डैमेज सेल्स एंड रिपेयर टिश्यूज टू फाइट डिजीजेस एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फूड इन प्लांट्स ग्रीन प्लांट्स कैन प्रोड्यूस दे आर ओन फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सनलाइट एंड क्लोरोपिल प्लांट्स मेक द ओन फूड इन दे आर लिवस यूजिंग वाटर एंड न्यूट्रिय फ्रॉम द सॉइल एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द हेयर दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज फोटोसिंथिस इन दिस प्रोसेस प्लांट्स गिव आउट ऑक्सीजन एंड टेक इन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड केमिकल इक्वेशन आर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सिक्स सी ओ टू प्लस वॉटर सिक्स एच टू ओ क्लोरोपिल सनलाइट ग्लूकोज फूड सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल ओ सिक्स प्लस ऑक्सीजन सिक्स ओ टू वॉट इज मैंड बाय पैरासाइटिक प्लांट्स नेम दे आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स विद एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ हीच द प्लांट्स दैट ग्रो ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ अदर प्लांट्स टू ऑप्टेन फूड आर कॉल्ड एज पैरासाइटिक प्लांट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल लोरंथस कस्कूटा एक्सेट्रा देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ पैरासाइटिक प्लांट्स दे आर ऑलो पैरासाइड्स एंड हेमी पैरासाइड्स एक्सप्लेन द वेरियस स्टेप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स स्टेप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स आर एज फॉलोस इंजेक्शन फूड इज टेकन इन टू द बॉडी डाइजेशन कन्वर्शन ऑफ फूड इन टू सिंपल सॉलिबल फॉर्म्स एब्जॉर्बन ट्रांसफर ऑफ सॉलिबल फूड टू द ब्लड एसिमिलेशन यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ एब्जॉर्ब फूड बाय सेल्स एंड टिश्यूज फॉर एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन ग्रोथ एंड रिपेयर इजेशन रिमूवल ऑफ वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड अनडाइजेस्टेड फूड फ्रॉम बॉडी नेम सम यूनिसेल ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन विच ऑल लाइफ प्रोसेस टेक प्लेस विद इन दियर यूनिसेलुलर बॉडी सम यूनिसेलुलर एनिमल्स लाइक एमिबा यूगलेना पैरामशियम इन विच ऑल लाइफ प्रोसेस टेक प्लेस विद इन दे आर यूनिसेलुलर बॉडी यू रीजन्स इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट्स आर एट्रैक्टिवली कलर्ड इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट्स जनरली ग्रो इन सॉयल और वाटर डेफिशेंट इन नाइट्रोजन कंपाउंड्स द प्लांट बॉडी ऑफ द ड्रोसेरा बर्मानी एज अ फ्लावर लाइक एपेरेंस इट ग्रोस क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड Its leaves are attractively pink or red in color with hairs at the margin. Droplets of a sticky substance found at the tips of the hairs attract insects. Therefore, insectivorous plants are attractively colored. Butterflies have a long tube like proboscis. Allozoic mode of nutrition means the feeding of solid and liquid food by animals. Butterflies live on nectar from flowers. Therefore, to suck the nectar from flowers, they have a long tube-like structure called proboscis. Prepare and complete the flow chart according to type of nutrition. You have to draw this flow chart. I give this answer directly to you. Nutrition, plants and animals. Plants is divided into autotrophic, heterotrophic, and symbiotic. Animals are divided into allozoic, saprozoic, and parasitic. Heterotrophic is divided into two types. They are insectivorous and saprophytic. 
parasitic is divided into two types. They are ectoparasitic and endoparasitic. Think and answer. We prepare a variety of foodstuffs and dishes at home. Are we then autotrophic organisms? We prepare a variety of foodstuffs and dishes at home. But we are not autotrophic organisms. In autotrophic organisms, they have chlorophyll in their body and food is prepared here with help of sunlight, water and carbon dioxide for the organisms. But the food which we prepare at home is not generated in our body. Which organisms are greater in number? Autotrophs or heterotrophs? Why? The number of autotrophs is certainly more. The number of plants should be more so that they can be enough for the herbivores. Herbivores are dependent upon autotrophs. If autotrophs decrease in numbers, the heterotrophs too will starve and die. Therefore, in nature, the autotrophs are always more than the heterotrophs to balance the food chain. The number of heterotrophs found in desert regions is smaller. However, they are found in greater numbers in the sea. Why is this so? In desert region, due to scarcity of water and excess heat, very few cactus are found as autotrophs compared to sea. As autotrophs are less, number of heterotrophs dependent on autotrophs are smaller. Whereas in sea, due to greater numbers of autotrophs, greater number of heterotrophs are found. What damage or harm do ectoparasitic and endoparasitic animals cause? Ectoparasitic animals suck the blood of the animal on which it remains and endoparasitic animals get ready-made food from the body of animal in which it remains. This way, both the parasites make the animals weak by sucking their blood or by heating prepared food from them. Why is plant food not produced in any other parts of the plant except the green ones? The chlorophyll is present in the green parts of the plants. In these parts, photosynthesis takes place. This produces food. The non-green parts do not produce food due to lack of chlorophyll. Let's recall. What is malnutrition? Malnutrition is the state when the required nutrients for proper functioning of the body are not obtained through the diet. Imbalanced diet or overnutrition can cause malnutrition. Which are the ways to prevent malnutrition? Taking wholesome food and balanced diet is the way to prevent malnutrition. Similarly, as per our age and type of work, we have to manage our diet to prevent malnutrition. Which are the different substances excreted by plants? Why? Plants excrete substances like raisins, gums, rubber, oil, etc. which are not of any use of the plants. However, for human beings, these are important commercial products. Plants do not have excretory system, so such substances are given out by the process of diffusion. Some substances are stored in the bark of the stem while some are deposited in the whole xylem vessel. Since these products are useless for plants, they are excreted by the plants. Can you tell how do plants produce their own food? Green plants produce their own food with the help of sunlight, chlorophyll, water, nutrients from soil and carbon dioxide from the air. This process is called as photosynthesis. How does ingestion occur in unicellular animals like Hamoeba? Hamoeba does not have organs like hands and mouth. It is a unicellular animal. It can take in food through any part of the surface of its unicellular body. It surrounds the food particle from all sides to take it into the cell. After that, it digests the food with the help of different enzymes. Undigested food is left behind as the amoeba moves further with the help of pseudopodia. In unicellular animals like amoeba, euglena, paramecium, etc., all the steps of nutrition occur 
within their unicellular body. Use your brain power. Which part of the Loranthus plant carries out photosynthesis? Leaves of the Loranthus plant carries out photosynthesis. From where do they obtain minerals and water? They obtain water and minerals from the xylem and phloem of the other host plant. Why is Loranthus known as a partially parasitic plant? Loranthus takes shelter on the host tree. It sucks the water and minerals from the host. But it can photosynthesize and prepare its own food. Therefore, it is called a partial parasite. Why does the pitcher plant feed on insects even though it produces food by photosynthesis? Pitcher plants grow in a place where soil has a deficiency of nitrogen compounds. So to fulfill the need of nitrogen, they feed on insects. These three questions see on textbook page number 32. Have you seen small animals on the bodies of animals like dogs and buffaloes? Which are those small animals? Yes, on the bodies of pet animals, there are parasitic organisms like flea, ticks and mites. Sometimes leeches are also seen. From where do these little animals obtain their food? These parasites obtain blood from their host animals. From where do the worms in the intestine obtain their food? The digested food having useful nutrients in the host intestine is taken by the worms living inside the intestine of the host. Find out questions. See on textbook page number 27. How does photosynthesis occur in dark red or purple colored leaves? In colored plants, there are carotenoids, xanthophyll and anthocyanins. These are plant pigments other than chlorophyll. Carotenoids absorb greenish blue color from the sunlight. The light reflected by this pigment appears orange to us. Xanthophyll imparts yellow coloration. Anthocyanins make the plant part violet and reddish. These plants also have chlorophyll besides these colored pigments. However, due to extra colored pigments, these plants appear to be of that color and not green. Photosynthesis in such plants also occur due to chlorophyll. The other pigments absorb some radiation and pass it onto the chlorophyll molecule. What is chemosynthesis? Which plants produce their food by chemosynthesis? Using carbon dioxide, methane, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide etc. as the sources of energy and producing food in this process is called chemosynthesis. No autotropic green plant performs chemosynthesis. Only bacteria, microbes residing in the areas where sunlight does not reach perform chemosynthesis. However, chemosynthetic microbes are not plants. They are placed in another kingdom.